Hi everybody and welcome back to the vlog and welcome to Moscow, Russia still. Uh, I'm actually here today in the town where I'm living. It's called Aprelivka. It's about 45 minutes from Moscow center. Um, we're actually going to go and have a look around this uh, market right here. So it's actually called a magazin in the Russian language. But basically it's a kind of like a supermarket but with mini markets inside. Uh, once we go inside you'll kind of understand. Uh, the name of the place is actually called April. So it's called the April Magazine or April's, April Market I guess. So let's go shall we? You want to go inside with us and check out what's for sale in a Russian market. So before we walk into the market I just thought I'd point out sort of where we are roughly uh, on the street here. So. Uh, you'll just see in the distance there the train station, uh, and basically the walk bridge over to the t over to the platforms, um, and you'll hear the lady here talking over the microphone. Basically, the uh, train line goes right into the center of Moscow, takes about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on how many stops that you catch. Uh, it is lightly snowing, by the way, right now, and the reason why you hear that microphone sound is because there's actually an open road just behind these cars where you can cross over and it's always saying that there's a train approaching, there's a train approaching but there's not really a train approaching and I, I would imagine the alarm goes off when it's quite a few miles or kilometers away so this market we're going to go in is just behind me so you'll actually see in the distance there there's a red stripe on that white building that's actually a supermarket and then that taller building just off in the distance behind the light there is a new shopping center has been open about a year and we'll swing around here and check out the entrance and yeah, it has a few Christmas lights sort of set up it's a little bit quiet now it's kind of early afternoon it does get dark here about four or five o'clock so we'll head on inside there's a few specials here on the wall okay so I'm not gonna point out probably too much pricing I am going to just basically just uh, show you some of the shops here and we're going to have another couple of videos in the next few days of different uh, shopping places here in Moscow. So one thing just to point out uh, at the entrance which I always find very funny, it says no rollerblades, no smoking, no bicycles, no dogs, so that's all fairly obvious, but it says no ice creams. So I always find that very strange, no ice creams. Um, I guess they don't want you to sort of make a mess on the floor. So we'll head on inside and we'll walk around. It's probably going to take, so there's heating as you come in here, which is really nice. I'll just show that up there. That's actually rather than air conditioning in the rest of the world, it's heating here in Moscow. And we'll try to check out some of the shops. We'll try this again. Um, so what, basically what you'll see is when you walk around, you'll see different little shops here within the shopping uh, area. So here we see eggs for sale. We have one, basically one like a liquor store here. We won't go inside, but liquor stores look the same all around the world. And then as we walk down the laneway here, or the kind of the alleyway, you'll see each little shop has its own little specialty. So this one has some um, cakes and danishes. And then over here you've got lots of different pickled foods. So anything you'd want in Russia can be pickled. Basically like a vinegar pickle. Um, here is some frozen vegetables as well. Uh, that's Basically you can buy it by the kilo. Most people aren't buying that much. They're buying just sort of what they need for one or two meals. Uh, this is actually the pilmeni right here in this middle shelf. And we'll keep walking along here. And my hand's a little bit shaky because it was cold outside. So this one is kind of like a deli with fish. And it has different uh, frozen and fresh fish. You'll see there the whole fish. Fresh fish in the tank. And then dried fish. Any type of fish you like. Uh, here's my lady that I come and get uh, yogurt and cheese from. I'm going to come back and do my shopping afterwards. There's the next one over here has 
dairy products as well, so different types of cheese. Now, mostly yogurts here, sour cream, uh, mayonnaise. You see all the different mayonnaise right here. Uh, the next one here has just cheese. A lot of different cheese. So obviously with a lot of the embargoes with Russia and different parts of the world, uh, a lot of things here aren't obviously imported as much. This one has basically uh, meats and chicken. This is another sort of deli style place. And then the next one over here has uh, see sausages, salamis. So you buy this basically by the gram. Again, it's kilo prices. And then you kind of tell them how many grams you'd like. You'll see lots of different salamis. So again, so a lot of the stuff uh, which you'd be used to maybe getting imported is pretty much all Russian here at the moment because of the fact that there's a lot of different embargoes, lots of more hams right here. So we'd know them kind of as deli hams, but uh, cured hams, dried hams. So we'll keep walking down this laneway. Here they have dried fish, some mackerel, uh, and then more dried fish so you can actually either get the whole fish like this or there is uh, lots of different dried fish right here and then there's some salmon right there and there's some caviar so it's 67 rubles to a US dollar so if you are looking at any pricing as I'm sort of looking around Here's more caviars, 3,000 rubles, uh, for that's about $60 Australian, it's 47 rubles for an Australian dollar. I won't tell you all the different languages, there so are lots of other dried fish here, uh, dried salmon, caviar by the can as well, pilchards, and then we have the different uh, butchers right here, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna come and get some uh, pork from one of my favorite guys here. So they have basically either a walk-in style butcher, like this, and then they have a whole aisle of them here. So there is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different butcher's counters. And we tend to like to come to these butcher's counters because they have the most, uh, the freshest, kind of meats, whereas when you buy it from the supermarket, you don't know how long it's sort of uh, been in the packaging, you don't know where it came from, was it transported from another city, Rasvati, I'm going to come back to this guy in a while, but not for about 10 minutes after I've walked around, and we're going to get some pork right here, so uh, this one's a sweet shop or a candy store. And it has lots of uh, candy by, by the gram or by the kilo. Basically all Russian candy and sweets, gummy and things like that. So this one has pork and beef. Pretty much all the butchers have the same pork and beef, pork and beef. And then this one has chicken. So you can either come to your favorite sort of uh, butcher or you can have a walk up and down. There's not a big difference in pricing from one to the next. Uh, it's uh, very similar. So hopefully you're watching this video because you want to see a food kind of uh, vlog. James Bond, <laughs> 007. Uh, so don't be too squirmish if you're seeing meat and things like that. So, um, all right, we'll walk down this aisle, which is the, where the vegetables are. So uh, this is one of, there's actually about four different vegetable uh, markets right here. Uh, and obviously being Christmas and New Year right now, mandarins are a big favorite in Russia. It's a very uh, traditional thing to have at Christmas and New Year time. Lots of very nice fruit and vegetables here. Obviously everything we know, of course. Um, and coming from all over the world as well, so it's very... Uh, Strange when you ask where they're from. Lots of pickled, pickled onions, pickled garlic, pickled tomatoes, 
And then check out all these relishes and pickled fruits back foods back here as well. Uh, how cool is that? I imagine he's probably keeping them for a little while longer. He's got some different oils there as well, some pesto. Uh, and we have another pickle station right here. Um, pickled mushrooms. It's sort of a, like a cold slaw. And then this is the market where we come and buy our fruit from. So they have lots of uh, nice fruit and vegetables. Very colorful when you're walking through here always. Now this is a little bit later in the afternoon and it's also Sunday today so it's quite a bit quieter uh, than on other days when I come by. These are persimmons by the way. Uh, mandarins, grapes, we all know the different fruits I think. Persimmons are a big deal here in Russia too. And then potatoes. So the secret to getting cheap potatoes in Russia is to buy the unwashed potatoes. So you see the ones that come right out of the bags here. So these are unwashed. So they're a little bit cheaper. All right, we'll keep walking. And then if you get washed potatoes, of course, because uh, someone actually has to do another process. So this is another chicken station. Or chicken shop, I guess. And we have dried nuts and dried fruits. Uh, nuts and peanuts, seeds. Uh, I make video for YouTube. Uh, it's, uh, nice, uh, more dried fish and some seafood. Um, so these ladies here have tea and coffee. So you can get different tea and coffee, nice new cups. And then they have uh, the tea and coffee by the gram here as well. So you can buy bagged coffee, you'll see there on the back shelf. Or they have different varieties right here. And you buy it in kind of by weight. So it's very nice. Here's another one with fish. And you can buy salmon here by the fillets. Yeah, there's a few swimming around, not too many in the tank. Uh, another deli. Lots of, again, lots of cured hams, salamis. Uh, this one's another candy one with biscuits, chocolate, uh, a little bit of everything here, but mostly biscuits, dried biscuits. Uh, this is where I come and get cottage cheese. Actually, there's regular cheeses, mayonnaise, she has pickles, cooking oil. I'll just point out this uh, cottage cheese that I buy. So you can buy it, basically buy it by the gram, which is really nice. Let's keep walking. Hopefully you're uh, enjoying this so far. It's not too busy, so it's nice to walk around when it's a bit quieter here. Hi. You're going to be famous on YouTube. Oh, you bought chicken. <laughs> Whole chicken. Again, hopefully you're uh, scoot, <laughs> not so taken back by the video. Um, the really main thing when you come to this kind of a market is you're coming to get fresh food. Uh, you're not going to a traditional supermarket, which I'm going to make other videos of. Uh, you're buying uh, at little shops, which are certain little, mostly ladies work here. The guys are in the delis and the butchers and then the ladies are in the, all the small markets. But you come here for certain types of hams and meats and chickens. Um, so it's very uh, fresh, especially all of the, the unprocessed food, I guess, uncooked food. And lots of deli hams. And then we have uh, more biscuits and cakes. Uh, yeah, there's lots of options right here. You can buy by the box. We have these are kind of mostly the bakery uh, kind of shops now. Lots of types of bread and biscuits. People drink a lot of tea and coffee here, so having a plate of uh, biscuits on the table is very traditional if you go to somebody's house. You go around for tea and coffee and people pull out all the food. Again, lots of pickled items. Very nice. nice. Cottage cheese. Yeah. After a few days, I'll show you on YouTube. You can watch and you can send to your friends. 
Uh, here we have. Uh, you got lots of uh, more dried fish here. Uh, this cake shop. See somebody's probably on a little tea break for now. Oh, let's have a look. We have fish here. Lots of types of fish, mostly frozen fish. Um, there's another uh, cake shop. There we go, chocolate. We're going to walk around two more lanes and then we'll have seen the whole market. So lots of nice cakes here. So again, you come here because these are usually from within two or three days fresh. You don't buy them at the supermarket because you don't know how long they've been in the fridge. These guys have honey here. Um, and this is mostly Russian honey. So, it's very cool. The honey. All right, we have a apoteca, which is really a pharmacy. And actually the price of pharmacy items here is very cheap. The Russian government and Putin himself uh, he, these are kind of uh, now not food shops, these are mostly like little market shops, but he really pushes to have very cost effective or low cost medicine for people. We have a toy shop here, and then we have a ladies uh, clothing store, very big uh, mix of things, mostly kids clothing right here. And then again, more another toy shop. So I wonder if you guys came to sort of see all the food or what they have in the shops. Here's a uh, wool merchant selling wool. If you're going to do some knitting, and then some bed sheets at this one. So these shops uh, are basically very specialized. Uh, each one's got its own little niche. There's a magazine shop right here. And this is the year of the pig as well, so you'll see, probably won't see that much things, but uh, there's a calendar dedicated to pigs right there. And we have a makeup shop. And these are mostly clothing stores here, so we'll kind of walk down the middle. There's a men's one on the left. Uh, there's little jewelry store here with hair accessories. So the thing is you can get everything in this one market and then you'll go to kind of each little shop and find this is a car shop right here. This guy's got all stuff for cars, the lights, lamps, car accessories. It's kind of cool. There's kind of an outdoor shop right here. And these inflatable tires are for use in the snow. So you go down little hills in the snow. And then we've got a clothing store. Mostly jeans, a lot of winter clothing, of course. Uh, now this is the only place I found in a Prelivka with Prelivka souvenirs. And we actually have magnets. And lots of things that are pig related right here. And because of the year of the pig. Um, this is the back entrance, so there's basically a front and a back entrance. Light bulbs. And then these sort of back few shops here, there's... That one's a pet shop. So if you need anything for your pets. There's a guy here doing batteries and watches and fixing your watch. Battery replacement. Now this one's a houseware store. And if you need any kind of remote control, any kind of uh, things for your house, um, kind of everything's right here if you don't want to drive anywhere or go anywhere different. So this one's a uh, kind of a ladies' uh, cleaning shop. So you've got lots of stuff for cleaning your house. And the shampoos back there. So if you want anything specific for cleaning your house, there's a shop just for that. So, and then these all on the left hand side down here are all clothing stores. Here's another uh, 
kind of amenity shop. There's some men's stuff here. Toothpaste, deodorant, shampoos, uh, toilet roll. Uh, here's a men's clothing store. I've actually bought a sweater in the shop before. And it has suits and business shirts. See, it's a really nice shop. There's a nice lady in there that helped me out getting a sweatshirt. Oh, uh, yeah. I hope you kind of like this kind of video. Uh, this is a very traditional kind of a market in Moscow. Every town has its own magazine. It's a lady shop right here with hats and gloves. Lots of gloves. Look at all the gloves right here. Of course, it is winter, so socks, stockings, tights. Lots more socks and gloves. And we have one jewelry shop. It has uh, traditional jewelry that we would know. Let's see, I think there might be another one further down. Here we are back at this lady's uh, cosmetics store. And got a Christmas tree up right here. There's more cosmetics. Obviously, Russian ladies want to always look beautiful and want to be nice and want to uh, take care of themselves. There's a dress shop right here. Uh, and then we have another beauty shop. Lots of shampoos and little knickknacks for your house. Another clothing store. So yeah, this magazine is something that you'll see in all towns throughout Moscow, especially in the regional areas, not really in the center of Moscow. But uh, you can walk here, you can buy anything you'd possibly need for your house. You wouldn't have to drive anywhere else to get something. And you might pay a little bit higher prices for some things, but you don't have to go to a big shopping center or a shopping mall that you'd be used to going to. This one's a houseware store right here. Uh, so we need containers, glass jars, plastic containers. There's another shoe shop. Obviously being winter time again, winter boots are a big thing. So you'll see all types of winter boots, snowshoes, kind of uh, cold weather things. Now there is a second level, but we're not going to head up there. That's uh, pretty much only got uh, like little offices up there, so we don't need to go there to do anything. And we're back at the pharmacy. So what we'll do is we'll walk out the door and we'll have a, there's a takeaway coffee machine. I don't know how many people use this machine. There's fresh flowers right here. It's got a refrigerated area and then the ladies there make up the flowers. So we'll head on out the door, and we've done one walk around of the April magazine, or April uh, market, let's call it. Alright, let's go back out to the cold for a minute, and we'll say our goodbyes from here, and let you know what's coming up in the next video, shall I? Alright, back to the cold. So today it's uh, minus 7 feels like about minus 10 so it is kind of cold but it's not that bad if you wear a jacket gloves scarf hat you'll be fine okay everybody what did you think of the walk around of the April market or April magazine I hope you liked it uh, we did actually uh, have to cut the beginning part when I went in the entrance because uh, when I got to the first shop I think the lady called security and uh, basically two guys come over to me and ask me what I'm doing, what I'm filming. I mean, I was filming eggs when, uh, she, when they came over, but I had to basically just start again and uh, re-walk back in the entrance. So I'm sure you'll notice there's a bit of a uh, kind of a time lapse on that first minute or so when I walked in the entrance. So yeah. All right. So what's going to happen in the next uh, three or four or five days is I'm going to go to some different uh, supermarkets in Moscow. I'm going to go to a big one, I'm going to go to a small one, and you're going to see more videos right as an airplane goes overhead. We're, not, we're only about 20 minutes from the nearest airport here too, so you can hear a lot of airplanes quite often. So I'm going to say thanks everybody for watching, 
Uh, if you're a subscriber, thanks for coming back. St thanks for bearing with me. I am going to let you guys know in another video which ship I'm going to very soon. My hat's coming off. Uh, I uh, will find out that in the next two or three days. So I'm going to be the. F you guys are going to be the first to know where I'm heading. And it's going to be kind of exciting because there's a lot of news about this ship in the news, let's say. So, yeah. Uh, so again, if you're a subscriber, thanks for watching. If it's your first time watching this video and you're really wondering what's going on uh, and you like it, uh, have a look at some of the playlists while I've been here in Moscow. I was in Bali. And of course, I work on cruise ships for a job. So check out some of the other videos. If you like them, give them a thumbs up. If you really don't like it, give it a thumbs down. It's up to you. Uh, and post a comment. Let us know what you think of the walk around. If you found it interesting to check out a market here in Moscow, Russia, here in Aprilovka. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. Have a nice day and catch you later. Bye.